Hello again, this is the second part of uh, how to connect the 3DR um, radio telemetry set to your um, APM flight controller. This is my APM uh, quadcopter. Like I mentioned before, this very useful cable comes with the original APM 2.5 uh, flight controller that uh, 3DR makes. It makes the connecting very uh, simple and foolproof because it actually fits uh, virtually one way so that not so many things can go wrong now one thing you have to note is that the red wire faces the middle of your controller so the red wire will face inside and the black uh, ground wire faces the outside of the controller there so that you can see it closer I'll try to um, I just try to focus there red on the inside and black on the outside and you socket it into the Hole that says telemetry. The next thing I've done is I've socketed the uh, radio uh, component into the other end of the um, wire and um, I'll try to focus it there. You put it, it's actually five uh, wire lead, just put it like that, as you can see there two black wires on one side, a red in the middle and two more black wires. Now this is properly labeled and as you can see it's a ground CTS 5 volts receiver and transmitter. That socket with RTS is left blank. Make sure you connect it this way. If you connect it the opposite way you'll be leaving the ground blank and that's not useful so um, that's how you put it there now I'll just mount this uh, radio on my frame with a double-sided uh, tape and we'll continue the video okay I have just mounted my um, radio unit and the antenna on my frame and I put it just beside my uh, flight controller uh, please be aware that when you want to test it you cannot power your um, Ardu pilot with the USB uh, lead because the telemetry and the USB use the same uh, uh, ports in the um, flight controller unit itself so you'll have to power from the battery unit and of course all safety measures have to be observed because you have your propellers on. Uh, note that I mounted my unit with the propeller uh, taking into consideration that if the antenna uh, happens to bend down in any of the directions it's quite stiff so the chances that it will bend down are not high but if it decides to do that it will still be free from my propeller and I wouldn't end up uh, damaging myself uh, while in flight so that's the one unit on that side of the uh, craft the next uh, side is the computer or ground station side depending on whether you want to use a laptop or uh, an Android phone or a tablet as your ground station. I thought it would be useful to mention that um, you may need some special cables depending on what kind of uh, unit you want to use as your ground station. If you want to use a normal laptop as your ground station out in the field then uh, this USB end for the uh, radio telemetry part will work and fit directly into your laptop. This will also fit into your laptop. However, if you want to use a tablet or an Android phone, which is actually easier to go around with in the field while you're flying and having fun, you'd have to get some kind of an adapter to get it to fit. In my case, I bought this adapter and this goes into my uh, a Samsung Galaxy uh, tablet and this goes of course into the tablet and this will receive the USB part of the telemetry radio. There are so many of these kind of connectors. You can get them on eBay, you can get them in your local electronic shop, just ask them. A USB uh, a female receiver for your device and you'll get it. Now this is essentially the same thing. This will take in the USB part of my telemetry radio and this is a micro 
USB that will go into my uh, smartphone, my Android smartphone. It's uh, really nice to control it with your Android device for the first uh, advantage you have is that it's light. You, I virtually have my phone with me anywhere I go. I don't have to carry a heavy laptop around. My phone has uh, by and large constant uh, internet service from the 3G network that the mobile um, supplier gives me so um, it also can download the relevant maps from Google Maps so that I can plan my waypoints. Apart from that it's uh, easier to carry around if you activate the follow me function just for fun. So these wires are quite smart and useful like I said eBay or your local electronics supplier and um, this should work. Before you connect your uh, ground station part uh, of your telemetry system I'd advise you go on the internet and you go to this URL I'll just focus it there and that's the APM wiki and um, if you go there you can quickly read it's actually well outlined there how to connect your uh, APM radio but I'd like to point out very importantly that you uh, will need a driver for your ground station if you're running Windows XP or anything uh, uh, older than Windows 7. So if you're running XP or Windows 7, you uh, I mean Windows 7 and below uh, um, uh, software on your computer, you will need to download the driver. And you can get the driver by going to this website you go to this website there's a link to the website on the wiki I just showed you but if you go to this one you'd all you'd uh, find the driver for the uh, computer the ground station part and uh, depending on what uh, you're running which operating system your PC is running you can download for Windows uh, Linux if you're using a Mac it's also there and um, what you need. You download the file, you inst you copy it, install it on your uh, computer. Um, I don't think I have to explain how to do that but if you want to know how to download the file and install it I can make a video for that. But um, you download and install it, install the driver and then uh, once you connect the uh, uh, ground station part of your telemetry it will be recognized by your computer and it will work well.